Hello, welcome to Flex 202 Fitness and Nutrition. I'm Robert Cummings, and in today's episode, I'm going to be switching up roles here a little bit and putting on my nutrition coach hat. You know, I have people sometimes ask me, hey Robert, how is it that you come up with the amount of calories and, um, and fat and carbs and things in the recipes that you make whenever you tell us all about them? I go, well, you know, back, eh, back in the day it was a little more difficult than it is today. Today we have a lot of electronic technology that helps us along the way. And specifically, I'm referring to MyNet Diary and MyFitnessPal. These are two free applications that I recommend to people all the time. I have both of them. Um, I actually prefer the MyNet Diary one over MyFitnessPal. Um, it has less features, and for me that's what I'm looking for. It has a little bigger, bolder print, which kind of helps with the old eyesight here. But anyhow, they both do a, a great job and they're more than just counting calories. You know, what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna take you through step by step on the screen here and show you exactly how it is that I create a recipe in my net diary so that you can understand how it is that I come up with the calories and the uh, fats and proteins that, are, that I list whenever I put a recipe together. So um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope that you find this tutorial helpful. Again, um, my Net Diary and my Fitness Pal are two great calorie um, apps, uh, two great meal plan apps uh, to help you in your your fitness and nutrition um, goals and help you get there. All right, here, take a look at this and let's get rolling. Okay, here I am on my Net Diary. This is the uh, calorie counting and meal tracker app that I use. And as you can see here, I have it set up for my calorie budget of approximately uh, 2,070 calories per day. Uh, this was my meals that I ate on Monday, and uh, Monday, January 22nd, and I did not exercise that day. Uh, I went to the dentist, so um, I got all beat up over there. But anyhow, you see, for breakfast, I had approximately 325 calories, lunch, uh, 377, dinner, 355, and snacks were at about 556. And I ran at about a total of 1,600 calories for the day, which was a calorie deficit. As I scroll down here, it'll give you the analysis of my fat, carbs, protein, and right in here is my, um, my macro scale that I use. Uh, as I scroll down, it'll give me a breakdown of, um, of the amount of fat, carbs, and the net carbs and proteins that I had for each meal as it goes throughout the day. And then here's my uh, weekly apps. As you can see, uh, there's days that I did not track any meals. There's days I tracked half my meals. And the thing is, is to try and stay on top of it. And then I have my weigh-ins and, and where I go from there. But what I'm really doing here today is I'm gonna show you how I come up with the amount of calories that I do on recipes that I make. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna switch over to a, another day and you see me up here, I'm, I'm going through and I'm switching to, uh, let's go to to tomorrow, for instance. There's there's nothing there. And what I'll do is I'll come down here to these three, these three dots right here, right here just above breakfast. There's three dots, I'll click on those and it'll say calorie budget and, and view. And that's not exactly what I'm looking for. So what I do is I go down to the next thing. I go to breakfast. Let me click on breakfast. Now, what do I want to do with breakfast? We see these three dots up on the top. These three dots up here on the right-hand corner. These three dots are going to allow me to go in and manage my meal, create a meal, create a recipe, all, the, all this great stuff. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going, to, I'm going to click on this one here that says create recipe. So when I create recipe, I come down here and it says type in the recipe name. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll type in a, a name here. Let's just call it uh, a cheesecake, um, cheesecake 2, for instance. And then what I do is I start to scroll down. And it'll say, do I want to search for ingredients or do I want to add from the staples that I have? Uh, right down here, search from ingredients, add from staples I have. I'll say search from ingredients. And what I can do here is I can either go through a list. You can see how I scrolled down here. I have a list of different foods that I already have in the app of foods that I eat on a regular basis. Well, what I'm going to do is I wanted to add some some new um, uh, a new recipe. So what I what I did was I went up here to start with. If you see here, 
you have this uh, barcode icon. I had I got all of the items that I used that had a barcode on them, and I clicked on that and I scanned each of the items. But now I'm going to go back on search. And what I did was, as the items came up, I entered them in. I'm going to click done on this one, and I'm going to X out of it up here, and I'm going to cancel because um, uh, because I did not uh, I don't need this. I'm going to discard the changes on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the next day where I actually created. I'll just click right over here as you see the arrow. I'm going to go over here on Monday. And I'm going to go back to the, so you see I have 113 calories listed. That's on my snacks for Monday. What I did was I already have this cheesecake one recipe in here. If you look at the top here, that's everything that I entered. It came out um, to a net carb value and the, uh, the calorie count value. So it comes out to approximately 113 calories for two ounces of this uh, cheesecake that I made. And if you... And if you look down here, as I, as I scroll down, here's my snack macros right in here and the total macros for this particular meal that I made. I'm coming in at a carbs of approximately 3 grams, protein of 6.4 grams, and um, actual carbs of 4.3, and fat of 7.7 grams. But this is the picture that I'm concerned about looking at over here because I am on a Low carb diet, not necessarily a keto diet. Keto diet, it's okay to go higher on the fat, and that's what happened on the previous um, recipe that I made. The fat was a little too high for me, so I tried to trim the fat and increase the protein. And so I've managed to accomplish that pretty good here, and I'll probably just go ahead and stay with this uh, variation here. The The easiest way for me to cut back on the fat right here would be to do away with the um, the almond flour crust, but I really enjoy having that. So anyhow, this is how I come up with the... Um, the amount of calories that I have in the meals that I make uh, whenever I'm doing uh, an addition to my to my net diary. So what I would do is I'd encourage you to go ahead and get an um, a, uh, app like this, either my net diary or my fitness pal. They're free. They have free versions. So they're, they're a great place to start.